Hey guys, my name is Dan, I'm a veterinarian, and today, lipomas in the dog. A lipoma is a fat deposit or a fat capsule that can be found in most cases right under the skin in the sub-Q space of a doggy. Lipomas are crazy common, guys, in older dogs. And some dogs, literally, when they're like 10, 11 years old, you're petting them and you're feeling all these little bumps. Some of them are huge, and these are lipomas. Now, what a veterinarian is going to do on a yearly basis, or more commonly, if you're worried, is a veterinarian is going to test them to double check and make sure they're not anything worse than a lipoma. When a client comes into me and they're like, hey, Dr. Dan, I'm worried about these, these lumps and bumps, I will fill them in the exam room. I'll say these are probably lipomas. Now, to diagnose it, because I want to I want to poke everything to make sure that it's not cancer, I'll use a needle to do a fine needle or an FNA to diagnose it. Literally, I will take every lump we're worried about and I will poke it and I will put it on a slide and look at it on the microscope. I will see fat and lipids and that's all I will see. It will be very low cellular. It will have nothing scary on it. It will just be fat. And that is perfect because that diagnoses a lipoma. I can walk into the exam room. I will be the hero when I will say, you know what, don't worry about this. It's just fat. And then they walk away and everyone's happy. And we have that confidence now and we're not perseverating on that lump or bump. If your doggy has a possible lipoma, always get it checked out, guys. Because if anything, it will put your mind at ease and make you a more confident pet owner knowing that your doggy is healthy, right? That's the, that's the goal we want. We want our doggies to be healthy. And also, we don't want to be stressing over their health when they actually are healthy, right? Now, if a lipoma, guys, gets really big, if it ulcerates, if it's just getting gnarly, lipomas can be removed. And yes, I remove lipomas on, oh my goodness, at least a weekly basis. And I've removed some massive ones. And I will always remove the big ones, especially if they impair mobility, if they cause discomfort, if they're so big. And I have had them so big where they compress the chest, make it hard to breathe. Lipomas can affect our quality of life. But lipomas are not like any, they're not like cancer that can spread and cause malignancy and problems. They just may be unsightly and cause discomfort. And if they cause discomfort, go get them off and make your doggy feel better and just more comfortable. In most cases, most lipomas are diagnosed with a fine needle aspirate. They are monitored by you and your veterinarian. And in most cases, we leave them alone because they don't cause any problems. Guys, hope that was super helpful. Always get every lump and bump on your puppy dog checked out by your veterinarian. I hope you and your doggy and your kitty cat are healthy, and I hope you guys have a great week. Thank you so much for watching. Please like and subscribe, and take care. Bye.